नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू एक्सपोर्ट इम्पोर्ट मेक इन इंडिया कैंपियन एंड वी आर जस्ट कवरिंग द चैप्टर थ्री इन दिस चैप्टर वी विल अंडरस्टैंड इंपोर्टेंस ऑफ द ट्रांसपोर्टेशन सो द डिजाइनिंग एंड प्लानिंग ऑफ द ट्रांसपोर्टेशन नेटवर्क वी विल अंडरस्टैंड बाय हेल्प ऑफ द टॉपिक इंपोर्टेंस ऑफ द ट्रांसपोर्टेशन so this is the full supply chain management course in which we are covering the second session of the chapter the third and the importance will be understand of the transportation in this session so the basic service for in increase national income so we need to understand the importance of transportation is play very vital role for the nations because the all the demand will be fulfilled only by help of transportation in any country so the importance is very very important okay so here the we will understand the point uh, point some points which are uh, showing the importance of the transportation so first is basic service for increasing national income okay so this is the basic service for any any nations the transportation is the basic service which increase the national income okay so as national income arise infrastructure adapt to support changing pattern of the demand okay so as per infrastructure availabilities the transportations work okay and the de whatever demand is requiring by the consumer this demand will change the pattern of the infrastructure adapt okay so we can understand that uh, infrastructure adapt to support changing on de depend on this demand if demand is increased then transportation supply will increase okay so with the share of power transportation and communication so this thing is depend on the uh, three things okay the infrastructure adapt to support changing pattern we can say the infrastructure will adapt the conditions which are depend on the share of the power transportation and communications okay transportation is the most important service within any country and a vital sector of growth okay we can understand any goods which is very small or very big only can move by help of transportation so we we need to understand the importance of the transportation create new economy activity since economy development in country require adequate and effective transport service the degree of which transport create new activity is necessary condition within the economy the transportation is one of the essential element of integrated plan in area development okay so here we need to understand that transportation uh, the transport create new activities for the necessary condition within the economy okay so uh, the activities are we can understand the movement of goods related activities okay warehousing and uh, storage and inventory management packing management all the things are these are the activities which depend on the transport okay so these activities create a new economic activities like a will increase the work and skillful just like helping uh, we can say the labor which work for this uh, process okay and the employment generations and all the things are connected with this uh, activities now indicator of the development the we can say the transportations is the indicator of the development of any countries if country existing high quality of transport network ability the number of mechanized the motor transport advocate number of railway and shipping service and all thing okay as per demand of user indicate the development of any countries okay so the country who have these facilities of movement of goods like by sea by air by train by roads by sea okay so this if availability is available then we can say you can measure the you can 
check out or measure the indicate. This can be the indicator of development. You can measure the development of country by help of this availability of the transport means. Okay. Effective transportation system have been play a vital role in economic prosperity of the countries. Effective transportation. We need to understand effective transportation is the transportation which will give the optimum level of the cost saving. Okay. So you can understand if you if any country have effective transportation, then the country economies will be flourish or uh, become a prosperous countries. Okay. So uh, how can be this effective transportation cost saving? part so we need to understand like a railways on the railway uh, uh, you can see, see the charges of movements of goods are very low okay so uh, there is a there will be there will be no charges mostly added in the extra of the any goods which move from one location to another locations by help of rail transport okay so uh, now enlarge the trading activities Okay, the industrial development of countries lay more emphasis on the development of the trade. The search of integrated system combine the metric uh, merits of individual transportation modes and eliminate the uneconomic and unproductive activities. Okay, so we need to understand the development of any industries in a country depend on the development of the trade. Okay. So, the trade, trade means that movement of the goods, which is totally depend on the transportation, okay? Uh, so, here the search of integrated system combined merit and individual transportation modules eliminate the uneconomic, unproductive activities. So, you, here we need to understand that combined transportation are integrated in such way that there is no need to uh, follow for the uh, another mode of transportation like a in for example we uh, we can understand with the help of example just like uh, you receive any order from any other countries okay and you need to arrange the container one container of the potato for example we need to export the potato to bangladesh so in this case your uh, uh, raw materials uh, means that your potato is available in uh, any up okay so here uh, first you need to uh, stuff this potato in the containers so first, uh, you have to need a road transport that will carry the empty container to the uh, location where the material is available. That container is stuffed and go for the next level, which is the custom clearance process. Okay, so here the transportation mode is first is free carriers, which called road transport. Then after that, uh, your nearest ICD like a TKD, then the goods receive the TKD, then custom clearance process and all things will be done. So here now transport is the one mode, the second mode will be the rail. Okay, then third rail, third mode will be the C. Okay, so here we need to understand this is integrated system is combined in such a way that individual transport mode will be eliminated automatically. How can this be possible when any shipping line provide these integrated services okay so nowadays if you book the any containers from shipping line so only you need to arrange the road transport okay by picking empty container from yard for uh, to the factory for stuffing then deliver to the icd then next further is transport will be handled by the shipping line okay so this is uh we can say that uh Unproductive activity is elim eliminated because that uh, we cannot we don't have to follow with it by uh, uh, railways or a uh, ship or, or uh, all the all the thing. Okay, now promote industrializations. Okay, it increased the wealth and promote uh, promoted the industrialization and transform the organization and industries and rise standard of living of the people. Okay, so trans by help of transport. The country's wealth will increase and promote the industrialization and transport organization in good level and also the change the living of the standard of people of respecting country. 
So, uh, guys, in the session, we have tried to understand the importance of the transportations. I hope you you have uh, aware and uh, understand now that what are the importance of transportation for any nations. Okay. So, guys, uh, uh, we are going to end the session here. Thanks for watching the session. Have a nice day.